Hello and welcome. As expected, the European currency slid in early trade on Thursday, but then gained value in the American session even despite upbeat statistics on the US economy. However, the quotes remain in control of birds. Now market participants are awaiting the Fed's further interest rate hikes, which have been already priced in. Although the US dollar is expected to extend gains and its upside potential is quite limited. At the same time, a continued rally in the value of the euro is rather doubtful. Everyone is aware that the European Central Bank will start raising interest rates soon, which has also been taken into account by investors. Thus, the market appears to be stabilizing, but the outlook for risky assets is still gloomy, with the quotes likely hitting new annual lows. Yesterday's data on Germany's economy revealed a raise in unemployment, which confirmed its inflationary pressures. The euro area also released some macroeconomic indicators, which largely met economists' expectations. The focus of market participants was on U.S. consumer spending and personal income, the personal consumption expenditures price index, as well as jobless claims. U.S. personal income rose in line with forecast. Consumer spending gained only 0.2% in May, compared to an increase of almost 1% a month earlier. This is the first indirect sign of a recession, indeed, High inflation forces Americans to rethink their financial choices and spend less. In addition, the UK reported data on gross domestic product which also met analysts' forecast. Against this background, the pound dollar pair continued to move within a sideways range. During the American session, the pound sterling ceased the moment and advanced. Today's macroeconomic calendar includes data on manufacturing activity for the euro area and its member states. The UK is also set to release its Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index. The indicators are unlikely to differ from the previous estimates. Thus, these reports will hardly have a severe impact on the dynamics of the euro and the British pound. Data on consumer price in the euro area is expected to be of greater interest. The annual CPI for the euro block is forecast to climb to 8.4% in June. This will confirm that the ECB has chosen the right monetary policy approach aimed at tightening and interest rate increases. If the headline CPI inflation figures is above market expectations, the euro will most likely gain value as these will force the regulator to move more aggressively. Furthermore, the US will also publish data on manufacturing activity. From a technical point of view, the euro dollar pair is likely to remain range bound, drifting around 1.0434, the middle of the sideways channel. Thus, it's worth focusing on this level. If the price falls and forms a false breakout at 1.0434, a strong buy signal will be created. In this case, bulls will strive to break above 1.0481. If the price overcomes this mark and tested from the top down, the volume of long positions will increase and the pair will head for 1.0525 and probably 1.0568. At this level of 1.0568, it will be possible to go short on a rebound. Short positions at 1.0525 can be considered only a metaphors breakout with a view to catching an intraday correction of 20-25 pips. If bears are able to protect 1.0481 and statistics on the Eurozone economy meet analyst focus, a false breakout will make it possible to open short positions. Subdued activity at 1.0434 and price fixation below this mark in this second half of the day may drag the euro down to 1.0383. In this case, the way to annual lows 1.0321 and 1.0255 will open. 
As for the British pound, the currency continues to trade sideways. The level of 1.2100 acts as support. If the pound sterling slides and forms a false breakout at this mark, bulls will add to their positions, trying to regain control of 1.2152, the middle line of the sideways range. If the price breaks through this level and test it from the top down, the volume of long positions will increase further. Thus, the pound-dollar pair will rise to 1.2207 and then 1.2267. At the level of 1.2267, it will be possible to go short on the rebound, counting on an intraday correction of 30-35 pips. Short positions at 1.2207 and the upper boundary of the channel or 1.2152, its middle line can be considered only amid a false breakout. In this case, the British pound will most likely gain downside momentum and break below 1.2094. This, in turn, will pave the way for a gradual decline to 1.2042 and 1.1993. At the level of 1.1993, traders will be able to go long on the rebound. At the 1.2042 mark, long positions will be relevant only in the event of a false breakout. Good luck and have a nice weekend.